Rory Jennings, my favourite game to play with you. I'll read out a statement and you will tell me whether it's an overreaction or not. Shall we get underway, sir? Let us. Here we go. Uh, the first one. Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne of new hair fame is the best Premier League midfielder ever. Oh, for God's sake. And Man City's greatest ever player. He's not in the top we'll five start Premier League players. No, like he's not. I don't understand. Why do people do this? Because do you know what I would like to do? I would like to acknowledge the brilliance of Kevin De Bruyne. I'd mm. like to sit here with you and wax lyrical about the, the gorgeous footballer that is Kevin De Bruyne. Mm. He's a joy to behold. It's an honour to watch him. And the fact that we have the privilege of watching him week in, week out, hopefully from now to the end of the season, is excellent news. Why do you need to ruin it? <laughs> you, personally you. Why are you ruining it? Why can't we just appreciate Kevin De Bruyne for what because he is? Because he really annoyed me at the weekend, that's why. <laughs> He's, and you're annoying me now. <laughs> you're passing the baton on. Well, seriously, though... All right, best Premier League midfielder not, ever. It, who, not, who is, by the way? Uh, it, it, whatever, Sorry. it isn't Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah. Like I can, off the top of my head, off the off the top of my head, Frank Lampard is obviously a better midfielder than Kevin De Bruyne. Like by, by, a, yeah, by a distance, Frank really? Lampard clearly. What just because it's of the goal clear? Scoring? No, not just because of the goal. Just because it's clear. all round, all round midfield. I don't play. think it's clear. Mate. It's clear. I don't think it's clear at it's, all. It's clear. There's, there's, there is. Uh, uh, at least I love the this. River Thames I lo- between them I love it when we do overreactions and you come out with your own overreaction I love it when it's you're the, the one thing. overreacting trying to say that it's not clear between <laughs> Lampard and De Bruyne like De Bruyne isn't comparable oh. to Lampard okay. Lampard isn't you can compare if you want to compare Lampard to other midfielders you can compare him to you could compare him to Steven Gerrard how many Premier Leagues did Lampard win just out of interest Lampard won yeah, yeah. four was it four was it definitely four, four? yeah okay and De Bruyne yeah, De, De Bruyne's oh, loads of players have won more than that's, that can't be the metric uh, I would say that Roy Keane was obviously better obviously better obviously wow. better Roy wow. Keane's obviously a better player than, than Kevin De Bruyne of course he is they're quite different though aren't they yeah, With midfielders they though we're talking the sort of yeah the game has evolved since um, Keane finished well uh, to be fair right okay so we'll part that one Man City's greatest ever player is it uh, Kevin De Bruyne yeah yeah, I mean, because it's only the players of the last fifteen years, isn't it? At most, to come to like, it's not going to be David Silva. What are we going to do, Nicky Summerby? <laughs> oh, like, obviously not. Antoine Sibierski, obviously not. It's not. Ilano, is he, it's not. Ilano. It's not. Is he the best Man City Shea midfielder Given. ever? It's is he the best Man City midfielder of the last decade? And therefore, yes. But, but even I, so, um, is he better than Aguero, David Silva? Aguero, David Silva. David Silva. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I mean, I love that. I love Bernardo I Silva. I love David Silva. I love mate. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva is a very good look, player. Look, Kevin De Bruyne. If you want to call Kevin De Bruyne a Man City's best ever player, yeah. you can do that. Like they were trying to create legends recently, weren't they? Yeah. They were nicking Patrick Vieira and Frank Lampard to try and give their club some sort of prestige. <laughs> so maybe he is that. Yeah, but uh, no. Frank Lampard, who won three Premier Leagues, by the way, um, we've we've just heard there, not four. Uh, the next one, should we move on? Uh, Chelsea, your Chelsea will finish above Manchester United. They're just one point behind them now. Is that an overreaction? Chelsea will finish no, above Man United? We're totally capable of finishing above Manchester United. The only reason it's an overreaction is because we're discussing it as if that's some sort of victory. Like, it's completely insignificant. I'd like to finish above Manchester United because it would be an extra place. and The battle for eight. But I, don't, I wouldn't find any kind of glory. Like, Manchester United are not relevant in this anymore. Finishing above Manchester yeah. City is what you're striving for. Above Liverpool is an achievement. Above Arsenal is fairly significant. Mm-hmm. Finishing above... Th- there's no difference in my mind finishing above Wolverhampton Wanderers or finishing above Manchester United. <laughs> Matters not. What, what difference does it make? Yeah, but, but you think it will happen. Manchester United are a shell of a football club at the moment. Not dissimilar to Chelsea. But Chelsea finishing above Manchester United means nothing. I imagine that if you asked a Manchester United fan, you may finish above Chelsea... They will not see the, the, the what is relevant in that. Would you be more buzzing to finish above Brighton this season than Manchester United? Well, I think if we finish above Brighton, we'll finish higher than if we finish above Manchester United. Mm. So That's simply, yeah. so simply finishing above Brighton would be better than finishing above Manchester United. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, how how the days have changed, Dave. I know, it's how the days have changed. It's horrible that it's Brighton as well, isn't it? Do you know who I really <laughs> like? Going completely off topic here. Do you know I'm desperate to get relegated? Go on. Like I would sacrifice major success for Chelsea for this to happen. Brentford. <laughs> now they've lost five in a row. Yeah, they're in awful form, good, by the way. Good, Awful. Uh, why, why do you hate Brentford so? Other than the obvious West well, London. They're so insane. They're not obvious West London. I've never met a Brentford <laughs> fan in my life. I've lived in West London my whole life. literally yeah. never met a Brentford yeah, fan. Down in, in the West, office. They're not in West, great, by the way. They're, they're not in West London either. Yeah. They're in they're in Middlesex at best. Like, I've been to Chiswick many times and they're not even there. You know, it's somewhere okay. beyond Kew, beyond Chiswick. <laughs> don't, don't actually know where it is. Okay. Um, yeah. But no, they're... They, they're totally insignificant as a football club they don't belong in the Premier League they bring nothing to the Premier League culturally and crucially 
their manager has got a cheek. Moaning about replays. Who do you think you are? <laughs> How can... He's moaning about replays. Brentford. Oh, he's, a, he's a great man, 15 though. years ago, Brentford would have been dreaming of playing at Ellen Road. They would have been dreaming of the opportunity. <laughs> Brentford would have loved the idea of getting a replay to go to St. James's Park. And now they've come up to the Premier League, yeah. brought nothing, by the way, no culture, no history, no pedigree, nothing. They've come up to the Premier League and they're trying to pull up the ladder. We don't want replays anymore. Shut up. He's a God, disgrace. I want them to, to get down, relegated. Yeah, I don't like Absolutely. his approach there. They are in trouble. They're in more trouble good, than I think people good, think. Good, I Well, think... also, I really want Tony to leave them. <laughs> Tony will go up in my estimation if he jumps if he in left, <laughs> Yeah, desperately want oh, them to go down. Wow. There's there your overreaction. There's your overreaction. Why, right? why, why does Roy Jennings hate Brentford? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't even know where it is. Uh, right, last one here uh, for overreactions. Newcastle United should sack Eddie Howe now to give a new manager a chance of settling in for a proper Champions League challenge next season. Rory Jennings, overreaction or not? R- repeat that for me, please. <sighs> Helps if you listen. Newcastle should sack Eddie Howe now to give the new manager a chance of settling in for a proper yeah. Champions League challenge I mean, next season. I mean, that's not an overreaction. That's, it is that's a almost exactly one. what I said should happen when we were discussing is. Newcastle. It sounds like very sane advice. There's, look, if the right man is available, the reason the reason to do it now is to give the right man the job because there's also... Who would that be? Well, there's also Who potentially a race hole. Like, let's, use, let's just do it as a case study. Let's pretend that the PIF have decided that... Antonio Conte is the right man. Let's just pretend. Just, oh my just, word. just bear with me on the game. Right, go on. So they decided that it's Antonio Conte. If they, if they want Conte, part of the reason to do it now is because he gets longer with the squad. He gets a bit of a free hit to learn about his squad between now mm-hmm. and the end of the season. Gets easier fixtures. Gets easier, his players back. All, all of the above. But there's also another reason. Eric Ten Hag gets a sack at the end of the season. Suddenly, Manchester United are looking at are looking at Conte as well. Mm. Presumably some clubs in the continent will also be looking at Conte. And I'm just using Conte as a case study here. Conte is interchangeable with whoever you want it to be. Okay. But m- making that manoeuvre first is sometimes a sensible option away from it, it, getting your man. Mm. You know, you can how end up with How active do you think Newcastle are right now at looking at other candidates? How, how genuinely active do you think they That's are? a great question because... My, I have no idea is the truth. Yeah. So I don't want anyone to think that I know anything in, in like in deep here. No word on the street. But my guess is that the the upper echelon of the board at Newcastle are having those conversations. In fact, it would be it would be a miss for them to not be because even if they want him to stay, as it, as a you as a, if you're ahead. steering the ship, you have to be mm-hmm. you have to you basically you can't lose another seven and then they go right. Should we have a conversation about? A new manager. You're starting mm. from square one. Mm. They need to be. They need to be thinking about these things mm. constantly. I, I I personally think with with the Eddie Howe situation that they'll definitely give him to the to the end of the season. Um, I, I can imagine the the results will improve. I think the performances will come back. Uh, I thought they they did pretty well against Manchester City. They've lost in the last minute. Um, I think he'll be absolutely fine. I don't think that changing it right now. I also don't think changing it right now would be the best thing for the fans either. I mean, the fans would. Wouldn't take that well, I, I, I would imagine. It depends who would come in, though. It, and that's it another depends point. Who would come in. That's another point. You know, point. if you ended up bringing in, like, who who is the most proven winner? I mean, Conte was a disaster at Spurs, Rory. No, but that's, that's because Tottenham are a disaster. <laughs> Good managers are a disaster at Tottenham, aren't mm. they? I just would, what about I, Mourinho? Like, I want Mourinho to come to Chelsea, but what about Mourinho? Again, it didn't go well at. And, and I know it's we keep Tottenham. bringing it back to Tottenham, but. It went well everywhere else. <laughs> Literally everywhere else. <laughs> He's got that weird connection with Newcastle as well, hasn't he, Jose? Bobby, Bobby Robson. Robson. Yeah. Uh, listen, we'll see, won't we? We'll see how it goes. Um, but for now, Eddie Howe is the man. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.